Governor Alfred Mutua is on the spot. His deputy Bernard Kiala is under siege, ironically put in these positions by one another. Mutua is once again accusing his deputy of abusing public trust by engaging in corruption and soliciting for sexual favors from the county staff. Mutua also says Kiala is soliciting for bribes from those who are seeking employment opportunities in the county. My deputy governor, Bernard Kiala, has been using his position to steal from Wananchi by diverting government resources to his personal use and using his office to demand for bribes and sexual favors from innocent Machako's residents. Speaking on phone, Kiala has dismissed his boss, who he says has run out of ideas. You know, Mutua has run out of ideas. He has fought his wars mm -hmm. for an extent now that uh, he no longer has any arsenal with him to fight. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see for sure that he has panicked. He's actually very, very panicked. Mm -hmm. The allegations he's putting through against me, yeah. I would advise him to go to the nearest police station and record a statement. The two don't see eye to eye in spite of working together. That differences always play to the public. But they are stuck together. That's until a court of law decides otherwise. The governor wants his deputy out. I urge all investigative bodies to move with speed to investigate allegations of corruption and malpractices by Medad Kiala and to take appropriate action. Some of the allegations against the deputy governor include theft of pipes meant for an irrigation scheme in Mwala sub-county, whereby Kiala is accused of diverting the pipes to his farm in Mukusa sub-location in Masinga sub-county. There is a very, very legitimate case affecting Governor Mukua. Mm -hmm. The case of procurement of second-hand vehicles mm -hmm. through single sourcing. Mm -hmm. All the people who were involved in that camp Starting the county secretary, Francis Mwaka, are already in court facing criminal charges on single sourcing. Last year, the two were caught in yet again another round of dirty linen airing when Kiala accused the governor of withdrawing his privileges, including use of the official car and security. Mutua is said to have also taken away some responsibility from Kiala's office. Governor Mutua has now realized how incompetent he is and that he is unable to run the affairs of Machakos County government. While it's not clear how the two manage to work together, the actions leave no doubt at the kind of relationship they have. The governor and the deputy are elected on a single ticket, but none of the individuals depend on the other to survive. In fact, if the deputy exits, the governor appoints another. On the other hand, if the governor is removed over any of the foregoing allegations, the deputy is the beneficiary and carries the term to maturity. Ken Mijungu, NTV.